Hi there, this is uh, uh, Joe Ogden and this is Keith Wilcock. Hello. And we're in a film called A Bunch of Amateurs, which is showing uh, right now actually. If you go around uh, Britain and uh, Europe, uh, we're in there. We haven't actually uh, hit America yet, but we're, we're working. Yeah, on. it's on the cars. I've heard so, yes, I've heard so as well. Yes. Right, so uh, were you born and brought up locally? Uh, I was born in Bradford and I've been lived in South Africa from two year old to about nearly ten. Right, very good. Yeah. Do, you, do you remember that very well? Very, 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 very faintly, very faintly. Better, better weather than here. Oh, definitely very better. Yeah, yeah. And you, Joe? Uh, a place called Nina, uh, which is uh, uh, North Tipperary. Uh, I moved to England when I was about three years old and uh, lived in Lancashire, like North at Border, like hey. you know, lettuce, tortoises, and uh, cabbages, you know, like you know, you used to do. But I, I, I moved to Yorkshire very quickly because this is my spiritual home, is Yorkshire, Bradford. Is. And I moved to Bradford and uh, let the street proper, like you should do. Aye. So, um, where did you meet? How, how long ago did you meet? 1997, around there, yeah. 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 We, he started to run a drama group in uh, at the Cathedral Centre in Bradford. And it, we, we were one of his first, me, Phil, uh, well, our members of, or two of his first members of his group. Oh, and what got you into acting in the first place? Just wanted to do. I see. I, when I was a little little lad, I 1960 when I came back from Africa, 1963, I did a pantomime called uh, God a minute. Oh yeah, it was uh, where oh Jack the Beanstalk. Well, the the quart players, weren't it? Yeah, quart players. Yeah. And it was 17 or what? Yeah, yeah, that. that. It was about, it was the time of when the Jack Kennedy got assassinated in nineteen uh, sixty-three. Yeah, yeah. I, re I remember. Maybe brother got on a bus and we went. To, we went to see this film called Reptilicus of all things. Yeah. And then we were co a when Swedish we film. A Swedish film. Oh yeah. No, it wasn't a Swedish. Film. It was. It was. <laughs> and as we as we coming as we were on bus, somebody said, "Oh, President Kennedy's been shot," and we all. That's what I remember. I do remember it. It's one of the things I will remember of the sixties. And uh, when did you join um, Bradford Movie Makers then? About uh, to two thousand and four. No, uh, two thousand eight. Two thousand eight. Both together. He's, he's, no, no. He's, uh, I begun. I, I started at Bradford Movie Makers as proper as it was the uh, video and cine club cine, 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 cine and video camcorder users group oh. it's been as it's had a few names we've, we've stuck with uh Bradford movie makers at the moment but we had uh, a few years where we were absolutely um uh, boring films sorry cine club it were they were boring films they were all the films and nothing films really to me they were like you couldn't actually play a cd or a dvd should i say you couldn't play uh, anything from tape unless you got a, a special computer sized oh yes uh cd i think or a dvd to, to play it was just to should the dull days so when i when I, I i came away for it for about oh four years and four years later they actually got a dvd player he actually could play on actual projectors. Then, then it started fiction films. That was about 2004 for me. Yeah, 2004, about that, yeah. When I actually joined the group, I've been making films way before then. Oh, I did? Yeah. In fact, we did a, a film called Nice Jam in 2000. Nice, nice Jam. When I had, um, when I had the, the darkest hair you've ever seen, now, really, curly black hair. And now I've got really strong, messy, same here. messy white hair. Same here. I used to have oh. a, it was jet black when I yeah. filmed Nice Jam. So Nice Jam was filmed before you were members of... Uh... Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well before, yeah. There were a couple of films, like, uh, it came from somewhere else and such like, wasn't it? It, it came, well, it came from somewhere else. 
that's never actually been finished, but I do know that it, they came from over there, the documentary, the, the filming. Who say, everyone says it's a spoof. How is it a spoof? I don't get it. You know what they all say about those champ? Listen, it's all about drugs, but is it not? I apparently, it's not about drugs. No, it's no. not. Definitely not. No. Nothing about drugs. Yeah. Eating, eating, eating jam with, laced with LC, uh, LED. You know, no. <laughs> LSD. <laughs> LSD. <laughs> LSD. LED. Oh, what are they saying? Can't not forget it's not. No, LED. Not LED. Like yeah. um, what got? What got you into filming? Uh, well, well, it's, it, what wasn't it yours and Phil's idea to go from stuff and all that? What it were, I was uh, an actor for a long, long time. I've been an actor since about 1990. Well, same here. Same here. And he's been an actor 30 years before that. And I, and I, I was asked to do student films, and Phil was, was working as an actor in the student film and got challenged to make a film uh, as good as uh, a guy called Toxic, what's it called, uh, Toxic DF or whatever it was called, yeah. Oh, Toxic, yeah, really. Uh, yeah. Uh, DF Toxic or Toxic yeah. DF, I can't remember. Like that, he, also, he renamed his name anyway. Oh, yeah. He, he got did. challenged in Phil to make a film uh, as good as he made it. So I was in Phil's film, Phil was in Toxic's film, and then I was in Toxic's film and other people's films. So the students seem to use me as granddad. And I, about the time, I was about 34. And I played granddad four times in a film. <laughs> I do. Now I can play granddad. I don't even feel like a granddad now. Then I did. But then you got into filmmaking yourself. I picked up the camera. Phil, Phil uh, was wandering around the graveyard looking at stuff. And I thought, I'd better film the filming of... Better film the film... The filming of it came from somewhere else. It came from somewhere else. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Uh, he managed to get that finished, but I managed to make a twenty-minute documentary, which is off the wall, really. They came from over there just a bit, like a off like the a, wall, yeah, like a documentary about it. Yeah. But Phil, uh, it being very literal, I said walk towards the camera, right, and I did mean to him to say stop when you get to the camera. Being literal and a and a good. Good, good actor and me, a poor director. Phil decided to walk right into the camera, knocked it over. I didn't mind, it was his camera. <laughs> <laughs> poor camera. So, what do you make of the film, A Bunch of Amateurs, then? Absolutely beautiful. Very, 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 very happy, sad, at the same time, isn't it? And we all know, as we know, all the people who. Oh, in, in acting, and it's some people want some people said, Oh, you're all acting, and I said, No, it's all true, it's true. We all just the cameras were at her, on us, and we never even we, we were used to cameras because we've been filmmaking all, all these years, so we just just went we, we we were the impossible team for I mean, a documentary team they disappear after a few weeks of being filmed, they they disappear. And we just become ourselves. Uh, we're all filmmakers. That didn't happen. We were nodding at the camera and saying hello, breaking the fourth wall all the damn time. So it were absolutely hilarious. You know, first first week uh, we were filming, just said, oh, I said, just they wind me up for Sam, and I said, oh heck, and I went, I went down to the toilet, and and the, yeah. <laughs> uh, when I came up, says you naughty boy. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, but but how how did you having said that, Keith? When you appear in the film, you you mainly seem to be acting in a, in one of the Bradford movie makers' film rather than appearing as yourself. Well, yeah, that's how it's emerged in the cuts, kind of thing. I did, yes, yes, it did. I I, I played a uh, not a vampire. But it, one of the uh, films called Zombie, Zombie, Z Zombie, yes. And I've also played a uh, uh, zombie, ghost, uh, everything. Also, I think you've been the mess up. Yeah, I think, I think, yeah. I'm, actually, when you see him acting and when you see him in real life, there isn't a great deal of difference, is there? I mean, <laughs> apart, from, apart from the white makeup, I mean, yeah, that's it, really. Yeah, I looked, so, I looked a bit that, pale. You know, he, 
he is a he is a realistic kind of you know zombie. Uh, so what do you think of the question and answer sessions? Very good. Uh, it's nice when you get you do get asked some questions, but not everybody gets asked questions. But I I've I've been uh, ready to answer all sorts of questions. Yeah. But not sorry, that he's inter interested at all in the technical. No, they're not, they're not, they're, they're not. Going, they're, they're not, not one person has asked me. Uh, I think one person asked me and I got shut down. <laughs> How did you make the film, the uh, Ari on the Horse? Uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, oh, the, what do uh, you call it? Uh, 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 the, oh, the, Oklahoma. Oklahoma, yeah, Oklahoma. Oklahoma, as he said. He said it, he, could, he couldn't even pronounce the word. <laughs> Oklahoma. 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 Oh, you did a very good job on that. <laughs> yeah, you did. But, no one's asked me how I actually did it, and and it was at the age, cutting edge of technology. The actual bit of software or the bit of uh, um, plug-in that came with it was uh, very, very uh, on the edge. It came out two weeks before I actually made the film, and I learned it very, very quickly because I had to get this film done and back to um, uh, to show people. I was very stumped, man. <laughs> Uh, what do you think about this, the fact they're thinking of doing a t-shirt with pu Pull It Faster, Keith? Because that's the quote in the actual film. Uh, pull it harder. Uh, pull, pull it harder. No, no, the quote is Pull It Faster. I saw, it, I saw the film again and noticed. Oh, Pull It Faster. Uh, yeah, I, I think, think it's very funny. Uh, to put. Yeah, it'd be nice to have a t-shirt. I think, I think it's I think over like... your face. It's over your face, it, pulling it. Well, some people say that now, aren't good? <laughs> Well, I, see, I think we should have a pull it faster on a poster, put it over the fireplace and keep the kids away from the fireplace. <laughs> It'd be really, absolutely, a brilliant. Uh, Thank yeah. you. Any kids want to go to near the, the coal fire? No. No. There's Keith with, with his nice smile on his face. We wouldn't need to pull it faster. Yeah. And a nice jam, that. That would oh, be another nice, t-shirt. Nice, nice jam. No, it's not nice jam. It's nice jam. <laughs> nice jam, that. True, true. Uh, and the other one is when. Oh, God. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, uh, the wine bit. Say the when. Wine bit. Say, say when. when. Say, say when. when. And then she goes, when. <laughs> <laughs> Very late. <laughs> but, but I do think that they do put some folio on there. I think the glug, glug, glugs are folio. Because I don't remember my wine glass going glug, 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 glug. My bottle going glug glug glug. There you go. That will go. That will go. We 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 let we let for artistic merit, you know. We'll... A bit of like artistic license. License, yeah. 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 And uh, what films are your favourite films? Oh uh, gosh, enough by enough. Where's uh... Gone with the Wind? Even uh, 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 some ha old Hammer films, uh, some big epics, and uh, I like all. All types of films. And you like film music, don't you? Oh, yes, yes. You always give a, one an, an annual lecture on film music. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, I get, I get annual. Annual three, talk. Three, then. Try, <laughs> try annual. Try Eight annual. times a year. Eight times a year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh, about, I'm prepared for the next one. So. All right. And what about you, Joe? Oh, one of my favourite films is uh, Peter Sellers. It's called Being Ray. Absolutely beautiful. Being there is a beautiful film. Um, absolutely. And of course, it goes without saying, uh, the film Birdemic. Yeah. Birdemic 1, 2, and maybe 3. 3 hasn't actually been developed yet. Yeah. Birdemic, you know, the actual the, the thought behind it. And anything by Bream, you know, any film, Bream, any, anything by Bream is absolutely. Um, Final question, how do you see the future of the film and the future of the club? I hope the club gets uh, more people to come and uh, join. I hope, it, I hope it, it, the area around gets a bit tidied more up and everything gets, uh, it becomes good for us and good for everybody else in Bradford. And it's a good, uh, it's a good news for Bradford because uh, 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 our fat man and our lad uh, in exchange, he says, oh, uh, thanks, this is thanks for Bradford for giving us a good uh, show, a light, instead of all the, ne a lot of negativity. Mm, yeah. I'm, I'm with everything Keith said, uh, so to add to that, I would say, 
bring back uh, amateur filmmaking to a bigger, bigger stage. Yeah, but he didn't. He and did. I think it, if if we can do, I mean, I saw a right of new Marvel films. I love the Marvel films, by the way. Don't don't get me wrong, but I think we need to tell us our stories, who we are, what what we're doing, and 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 why why we are existing. You know. And then record that because in a hundred years' time, that'll be kind of weird history. As an example, being a very simple example is where did the bumpers go on cars? I was filming some cars in, in uh, where were it? Solby Bridge, Solby Bridge, where else? A few years ago, and all the cars had bumpers. And then I went, Whoa, where did all the bumpers go? If you think about it, how much will change in a hundred years in ten years' time? Get your phone on and camera. You've got one of these phones, do it. You don't have to have a camera, just use a mobile. Yeah, phone. that's it. I'm filming this on a mobile. Indeed. Well, thank you very much. It's great thank to you. catch you in the pub, which is uh, our native, native home. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what's, what's the name of that drinking club you're in? You you and Ed? Oh, what, what? what? The drinking club you're in, you and Oh, the Dirty Lines. Dirty Lines. Dirty Lines. Dirty Lines. <laughs> okay, thanks very much. Thank you. Welcome.